Reality as we know it might be nothing more than an elaborate computer simulation. And the wildest part? Quantum physics is actually starting to prove it. That's quite a bold statement. What makes you so convinced? Well, let me tell you about this mind-bending experiment called the double slit test. When scientists fire individual particles at a screen with two slits, something impossible happens. The particles exist in multiple places simultaneously until someone observes them. Hmm. So you're saying things don't actually exist until we look at them? That sounds more like philosophy than science. That's exactly what makes it so fascinating. It's not philosophy. It's repeatedly proven in laboratory science. And here's where it gets even weirder. This behavior perfectly mirrors how video games render only the parts of the world a player is looking at. Oh wow, so reality might be operating like some kind of cosmic video game. What other evidence suggests this? Well, there's this phenomenon called quantum entanglement that Einstein dubbed spooky action at a distance. When two particles become entangled, changing one instantly affects the other, even if they're galaxies apart. But wait, doesn't that violate Einstein's rule about nothing travelling faster than light? Exactly. Unless space itself is an illusion. Think about it. In a computer program, two points of data can be instantly connected, regardless of their apparent distance, in the simulated space. That's wild. You know what this reminds me of? Those moments of deja vu that feel like glitches in reality. Funny you mention that. Some researchers actually suggest phenomena like deja vu and the Mandela effect could be computational artifacts like processing hiccups in the universal computer. Speaking of computer code, is there any actual evidence of programming in the laws of physics themselves? Um, that's where this gets really interesting. Theoretical physicist James Gates discovered something shocking. Error-correcting codes embedded in the equations that describe our universe. The same type of code we use in computer programming. So you're telling me there's literal debugging code built into reality? Not just any code. It's specifically the kind we use for browser error detection and digital data transmission. It's like finding computer instructions written into the fabric of space-time. Well, that raises a huge question. If we're in a simulation, who's running it? Nick Bostrom, a prominent theoretical physicist, argues that if any civilization ever develops the ability to create conscious simulations, statistically speaking, we're more likely to be living in one of those simulations than in base reality. That's... hold on. Are you suggesting advanced aliens might be running our reality like some kind of elaborate experiment? It's possible, but here's something even more mind-bending. Some physicists believe we might eventually be able to hack the simulation. If reality runs on code, theoretically we could learn to manipulate it. You know what fascinates me most about all this? The implications for consciousness. What does this mean about who and what we really are? That's the real question. Some researchers suggest consciousness might be the interface between our true selves and the simulation, like a sophisticated VR system connecting us to this programmed reality. So how do quantum computers fit into all this? They might actually give us a window into how the universe processes information. These computers operate using the same principles, superposition and entanglement, that suggest we're in a simulation. That's fascinating, but also terrifying. How should we even process this information? Look at it this way. Even if we're in a simulation, our experiences and connections feel real to us. Maybe that's what matters most, not whether reality is real in some absolute sense, but how we engage with it. So we shouldn't let this paralyze us with existential dread. Actually, it could be empowering. If reality is fundamentally information rather than matter, our thoughts and actions might have deeper implications than we realize. We might be active participants in shaping the nature of reality itself. That's quite a perspective shift. What's next for this field of research? Scientists are developing tests to detect possible computational artifacts in our reality, essentially looking for the pixels of space-time itself. Whether we're ready or not, we're getting closer to answering these fundamental questions about existence. Maybe that's the ultimate test of the simulation, seeing how we handle the truth when we finally discover it. And you know what? The next time something inexplicably strange happens in your life, just remember, it might not be a coincidence. 
It might be a glitch in the matrix. Let's just hope contemplating all this doesn't cause the system to crash and reboot.